working on this warp wolf here for John. And what John had wanted was a um, warp wolf that looked um, like a, a real gray wolf. And so I worked with uh, yellows and creams, or excuse me, grays and creams and uh, blacks to get the uh, scheme that you see here. So what I'm going to work on now is um, the skin for the most part is done. So tonight what we're going to work on is the cloth here around the neck, okay, the sash around the waist. Um, and then if we've got the time, we'll work on the metallics. So uh, the color scheme is pretty simple from here on out. Uh, green cloth, uh, probably do green straps as well. And then the um, armor plates here will be silver with a, a goldish bronzish trim. So, um, and then what I'll probably do on the fingernails, toenails, and growths coming out of the shoulder here is um, go with uh, like a black obsidian kind of look for those. So, uh, so anyway, um, let's get going. Now, um, I do like to go, you know. Um, work light to dark with my colors uh, for shading and whatnot. So uh, for green, we're going to go ahead and base the green color in uh, an ordic olive, okay? And then we'll be highlighting uh, in worm green, and then we'll be shading um, in gnarls green, possibly with a touch of the um, uh, coal black. And in fact, now that I'm kind of thinking about it, I think we're going to do a mixture of worm green and ordic olive. Uh, like a you know one to one mix of the two as the base color for the cloth. I think that will work a bit better. So I'm just mixing up a couple drops of each color on my uh, my wet palette here. I just think this will make, by mixing the two together, I think it'll just make for an easier time of highlighting when it comes when it comes time to do it. And uh, you can see we got a fairly intense looking green there for the uh, highlight color. Or for the base color, excuse me. So I'm just wondering, any of my viewers out there right now, um, any of you guys uh, interested in 40K, Space Marines, uh, Grey Knights, that kind of thing? Um, I picked up a very small uh, Space Marine Army and Grey Knights, and um, we'll probably be working on them at some point here on, on the paint cast. I know that's blasphemy for... Uh, potentially blast me for some of you P3 folks out there. But, uh, you know, you got to branch out every now and then. Work with different genres. Already painted, in fact, a test marine for the Grey Knight Army and a Test Marine for the uh, Space Marine Army. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm going with kind of a combat military green color for the Space Marines and then doing an actual gray color for the Grey Knights. I don't know how much table time the Army will see, but I don't know. I've always enjoyed the aesthetic of Space Marines.
Now one reason, John, why this is looking so pastel, the green, is, is because it's a, it, this green is a fairly thin color. Uh, it doesn't have the best coverage and it's being applied over a very light uh, undercoat. So when we get the uh, gnarls green on top of this, I think we'll definitely get a little more contrast there. I think it'll look pretty good. Bannon is asking, have you ever thought of painting Guild Ball? A couple people have approached me about painting it, but uh, right now I'm not accepting any commissions. And um, I don't know how I feel about picking up another game. Um, I've seen some of the minis in passing, and, and they look pretty cool. But uh, I, I'm still on the fence of whether or not I'd actually invest in the game and, and, uh, and purchase any of them or not. I do like the concept, though, of, um, you know, uh, small, a smaller-sized army. It kind of limits how many miniatures you'd, you'd have to buy. Actually, kind of like this green color. I have to remember this mixture.
Okay. So um, we'll move on down to uh, to shading. We're going to start with gnarls green, I think, and um, we're I'm going to focus the shading mostly around the mane, so that the edges, the tips of the uh, the outside edges of the the, the the tunic that he's got here, will have the uh, highlight, while the as you get closer to the mane, it'll have the uh, the shadow. That's kind of the plan here for this. Using Gnarls Green. Let that dry. You know, as I'm looking at how this, this green is developing, I, I actually think that um, my original idea of using a little bit of um, coal black to shade with is wrong. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'll still be using coal black, but more indirectly, I think I'm going to make a mixture of coal black and sanguine base. I think the red will add 
a little bit of, of uh, warmth to the shadow that I think this will need. First, I'm going to add just another pass of green on the cloak. Try and pull that green out just a little further. And you know, actually, I don't even think I'm going to work with the coal black. I think I'm going to just try straight sanguine base, working a little bit of that into the shadow. See if I can get the colors to play off themselves and uh, give me a nice, uh, a nice shade color. Try it out in a couple spots here. Let's see what I think. Well, the reason why this works is because red and green are complementary colors. You add red to green and it darkens it. You add green to red and it darkens the red as well.
gives me more of the green I was looking for. Shadow up just a little more, too. Looks good. Now I need to uh, work some highlights here. So I'm just going to go back with the original base color and just kind of reestablish a couple of the. Uh, places where I want highlights to be that may have gotten a little a little washed out smooth out some of those blends just a little bit more For the highlights, we'll just go actually straight warm green. If it's too bright and you want it to be a little more muted, John, you can go uh, warm green with a little bit of thrall flesh. Um, and we may go that way. We'll just see how, how this starts us out. I don't think this will work. Some nice color there. That's looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, we need some black, but I don't want to use black, so I'm going to do a mixture of coal black, sanguine base, and gnarls green. It's going to be a nice dark, almost black kind of color. And what I'm going to do with this color, I will show you guys here in just a second. Um, I want to create a nice strong edge between the edge of the of his tunic here and, and his skin. Um, so I'm going to use this color to paint uh, the underside of, of his tunic. Some of you guys may have heard of this before called uh, black lining uh, except I'm not using color black also right there like in the tears on his tunic too we're gonna put put this color into there and uh, that'll help sell the sell the effect and by using a different color than what I'd used on the cloak here 
I mean, uh, on the main. Um, just creating a little separation between the two. this side of the tunic to this side of the tunic and you see the difference it makes Now we're going to go with some thrall flesh. It's kind of a yellowy, greenish based white, and we're going to use that to pick out all the stitching on the uh, on the cloak. can see what that looks like there with the stitching. Makes it pop out a bit more.
see that's what it looks like uh, once all those threads are uh, picked out so that green on the cowling around his uh, um, or the drape around his neck there is pretty much done uh, it's got a nice pop to it it's got some nice shading to it kind of a global highlighting shading thing going on no real light source type thing with him but that's cool um, but that's where I'm probably gonna leave this for the night uh, between now and my next uh, paint cast I do on this guy, I'm going to try and get all the green finished up uh, so that way I can move on to the armor um, and the basing at that point. So uh, anyway, in the meantime, if uh, those of you watching have questions, make sure to email me at redmodeling at gmail.com. Be happy to answer you those, any questions that you might have as far as uh, painting techniques or, or anything you've seen here on my paint casts. Um, I'm going to wrap it up for the night tonight guys the bronze back took a little longer than uh, I thought it would earlier so uh, I'm gonna go spend some time with the family now but uh, again hit me up on Facebook or on my uh, email if you have any questions uh, thanks for tuning in guys and we'll see everyone later take care